All right, here we go. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, Link Evolution, everybody. All right, so like I was just uh, talking to chat here about this, um, we're starting over because this is the PC version of Link Evolution. It doesn't count as like an update, so I don't get to keep all my progress that I had all that time ago. And I kind of wanted to get back to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff anyway, so why not just start over? This is just the tutorial. The, tuto the, the simple Duel Monsters tutorial duel. Let's go to the actual first one. Kind of makes you actually do the tutorial this time. I don't think the old version did. That afternoon, Yugi and his friends went to his grandpa's game shop. Yugi wanted to show his friends his grandpa's prized possession. Gramps, could you show my friends your, your awesome super rare card? Rare card? You mean my special card? Hmm. Please, please! Haha, <laughs> how could I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't take this card out too often. Here it is, the blue eyes white dragon. So rare, so powerful, I never let it leave my hands. This card is priceless. There's only four of them in the world, but somehow there's like seven different uh, art variants of it. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran to, the ran to the shop. His name was Seno Kaiba, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. He had found the card he was looking for. Name your price for that, Blue Eyes. I can pay anything you ask. I'm sure you could, but this card is worth more to me than you could ever offer. Senile, old fool. Kaiba stormed out of, the, out of Grandpa's store. The team was disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with the Blue Eyes White Dragon. The next day, when Yugi came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking Yugi that he kidnapped his grandfather and took him to Kaiba Corp. Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa laying on the floor, defeated. Grandpa, you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards. But I lost, you poor fool. Grandpa, how's the old man feeling, hmm? Kaiba, you sleaze, what have you done to him? We had a duel, that's all, with each of us putting up our most valuable card as the prize. But I guess playing against a champion like myself was just too much stimulation for the old fool. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at the sweet prize I, I won. Kaiba held up Grandpa's blue eyes, white dragon, and ripped it in half. Grandpa's most treasured card. Blue Eyes White Dragon is a rare and powerful card, and this one will never be used against me. My Blue Eyes White Dragon, my treasure. Grandpa, hold on. How could you do such a thing? Yugi, take this. Huh? I built this deck. I put my soul into these cards, and I taught you everything I know. Yugi, take my cards and teach Kaiba the respect for the heart of the cards. Okay, Grandpa, I'll do it. Are you ready to play? Playtime's over, Kaiba. He's <laughs> just a simple fade-out effect to become, uh, Yami Yugi here, huh? Kaiba was taken aback by Yugi's sudden transformation. It seemed like he had become a different person, as if he was more confident and powerful than before. Kaiba, prepare yourself, because it's time to duel. He opened his jacket, and suddenly he's got, like, he's got the clothes. He's got the look. Story deck, let's go. Let's win with Exodia now. So, fun fact, if you weren't aware, and, um... I'm gonna go second, because I want to draw. Um, I believe it's in the Japanese version of Episode 1. The reason Kaiba tears up the, the fourth Blue Eyes is because he references the rule that you can only have three cards of the same name in the deck, so it's useless to him. There we go, turn change. Okay, Heart of the Underdog. I know what that does. When you draw, during your draw phase, if it's a normal monster, draw one more card. Oh, that's right, I have to play with columns now. I have to actually select where I place my cards. It's not gonna be relevant for like, ever, but I can do it and I can stall with this. Let's do this for now. Okay. And I guess I'll just end now. The reason I wanted to play is because, like, you know, we're all stuck at home. My, my brother Andrew's been getting more into Yu-Gi-Oh! And I wanted to get back into the card game a bit so I can play more with him. There we go. Achievements. Put in the Pendulum Zone. That is one d difference. They, they moved, like, the Pendulum Zone... Instead of making it its own zone, it's now like the left and leftmost and rightmost section of the spell and trap cards. 
I still don't know very much about pendulums. All I know is that it scares people who play the game, like, over 15 years ago. They're like, what's a pendulum card? That's, that's weird. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and activate Graceful Charity, because it's legal right now for some reason to me. All right, well, we don't need that. We don't need that. I could just put Summon Skull on board. Why not? Actually, let me see here. Destroy all opponents. Maybe I should save this for a little bit longer. I'm not trying to necessarily win by taking out his life points. You're going to see a bunch of achievement notifications, because like I said, I haven't really played this version. Summon Skull. The early meta. Oh, you poor thing. He thinks that'll help him. It seems like his deck is purposely designed to, like, stall me out so I can draw and win with Exodia. Like, come on, guys, it has to be just like the anime. The pendulum tutorial in this game is bad. Wouldn't shock me. This game doesn't even have a tutorial for, like, missing timing, doesn't it? Well, let's do this. And I guess I'll keep attacking with Summon Skull. Oh, Shadow Spell. Whatever. That's no big deal at all. I'm waiting to get a normal monster so I can use Heart of the Underdog here. I've seen a lot of videos about the difference between if and when printed on a card, and that can be some funny crap. Sangan. This card is sent from the field to the GY. Add one monster with 15, 1,500 or less attack. Protect your hand. All right, so I could combo that with Dark Hole, but do I really want to lose all my monsters for that, even though I have swords? How about I just put it face up and he'll attack into it like an idiot? It's Kaiba. I guarantee you he'd do something like that. End turn. All right, let's go ahead and take you, the head. Exodia is always your friend. All right. Combos, let's go. Ooh. Well, oh, now I got another one. And for now, I might as well just set monsters until... Okay, it doesn't matter if they're face up or not. I can just get rid of his monsters. I might as well do this so he doesn't summon blue eyes or anything right now. Goodbye, Kaiba. End phase. Summon Skull can't attack because of Shadow Spell. Battle Ox. It's an ox that battles. How exciting. He still can't beat Summon Skull. Swords Revealing Light. And with that, I shall end my turn, good sir. This is a terrible monster. Look at that. Look at that face. More like it. Oh no, it's Rude Kaiser. If there's a kind Kaiser, I don't think Kaiba's the type of person to run it. And we're gonna do this, and he's gonna help me build Exodia, because he's dumb. Exodia? No one's ever been able to make him before. I love when tribute monsters have stats worse than most four-star monsters. It's always cool. AKA, you got garbage in your pack today. I right, take the foot. Normal. Mo yeah, there we go. I've got a Rude Kaiser as well. All right. I guess Sangan's going to help me out the most. I need Spellbinding Circle. 
But like, I might as well. In turn, discard from my hand. I don't need that. Don't need that. Give me the next thing. No, I can just hold down right mouse button, right? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Give me that hand. Um, sure. Because I'm gonna keep getting prompted for this anyway. I'll just use it on him so we can't do nothing. Yes, two cards, please. Do I put a greed in this starting deck? I'm not sure. Look who just won, Kaiba! Exodia's here. You win. <laughs> Had to go for the win animation for the first duel, yeah. You play only for power, Kaiba. That is why you lost. But if you put your heart into the game, there's nothing you can't do. The results of the duel spread quickly, and a mysterious one-eyed man got news of Yugi's victory. Hmm, it seems Kaiba Boy has been defeated in a duel. I must learn more about this Yugi Moto. All right. Excellent. And... Do that. Unlock the reverse duel for this. Beat Yugi before he can use that, but for now, let's keep moving on. After his win against Seto Kaiba, Yugi was puzzled to receive a package from Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Duel Monsters. Inside the box was a videotape. Yugi inserted the tape into the VCR and Pegasus' face popped up on the TV screen. Greetings, little Yugi. I'm Maximilian Pegasus. I've heard some terribly interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much that I've decided to investigate your amazing dueling skills personally. Right here and now, we shall, we shall hold a special duel. Suddenly, a strange and arcane magic froze time so that no one could move, except for Yugi. This dark dimension we're in is known as the Shadow Realm, a mystical place where incredible monsters can be summoned and the impossible is quite impossible. Tell me, Yugi, do you believe there's magic in these cards? Don't you know? You invented this game. What if I told you I didn't? Huh? In ancient times, the Egyptians called this the Shadow Game. Powerful pharaohs would hold mystical duels in other dimensions, just as we're doing now. But instead of cards, they battled with real monsters and real magic. The magical forces were so powerful, the Egyptians lost control of them and nearly destroyed the entire world. It's a good story. These monsters can't be real. These monsters are very real. And also quite dangerous, Yugi boy. You really are quite entertaining. The way you scowl and sneer, so defiant yet helpless. And so completely ignorant of the power of your Millennium Puzzle. Yugi looked down at the Millennium Puzzle that he wore around his neck. The power of my puzzle? Five thousand years ago, a powerful pharaoh locked the magic of the Shadow Games away in seven mystical Millennium items. Seven items? You're saying my puzzle's one of them? Yes, and there are other mystical energies locked within it. Magic that could change your life forever, if only you knew how to unleash it. As the two dueled, it seemed the Pegasus knew every Yugi- er, blah, blah. Pegasus knew every move Yugi was going to make before he did. Despite this disadvantage, Yugi mustered all his skills and nearly won, but Yugi ran out of time when the time limit passed. I have taken the measure of your talents this day, Yugi, and when next we duel, we, sh we shall play for higher stakes. I'm done with your games. Tsk, 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 you presume I'm giving you a choice in the matter, but I'm not, for I also possess one of the seven Millennium Items, the all-powerful Millennium Eye. A Millennium Eye? That's right, Yugi boy. I'll show you the true extent of its magic. I found that given the proper incentive, anyone can be made to play my game. The power of the Millennium Eye lashed out and stole Grandpa's soul. Yugi can only watch in horror. I love how just, like, very... Uh, her Terrible events like that can just be summarized in one sentence without any kind of visual to accompany it. Yugi! <laughs> he just fades out. I love that fade out effect. It's like the crap I do for my YouTube videos. <laughs> Grandpa! We'll duel again, Yugi. How else will you ever reclaim your grandfather's soul? 
Yuki had no choice but to compete in Pegasus' Duelist Kingdom tournament so he could get his grandfather's soul back. At Duelist Kingdom, each duelist was given two star chips, which they could wager against the other duelists on the island. Whoever earned ten star chips gained entry into the tournament finals, where they'd compete for the three million grand prize and the chance to duel Pegasus himself. For his duel, Yugi faced off against the conniving Weevil Underwood, a duelist with whom he had a bit of history. While riding the boat to Duelist Kingdom, Weevil took Yugi's precious, precious Exodia cards and threw them into the ocean. So when Yugi spied Weevil on the island, he chased him into the woods. Welcome, said the spider to the fly. You flew right into my trap. It's time you answered for destroying my Exodia cards, Weevil. Can't you let bygones be bygones? <laughs> Weevil, it's time to find out if you're as good as dueling as you are at running away. Was I simply running away or cleverly weaving you into my web? It's time to duel. All right, let's go. Angel 07. All these new cards that I don't recognize. All right. I'm going to go first this time. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, boy. Goodbye, Exodia. Hello, Feral Imp. It's wonderful. Now then, can't fuse yet. My extra decks got, yeah, dragon, the dragon champion. So I should save Gaia. Mm, maybe I should just try playing defensively first thing. He only has the insects. I want to say like uh, season one insects, so maybe I have a decent chance of not dying. Graceful Charity. He's playing with the- he's playing with those new cards. Oh. Oh, wow. Rare footage of laser cannon armor being effective. Man's already buffed everything. I should have burning land in this deck. Because, guess what? Uh... I'm going to take damage this turn, and there's nothing I can do about it. Welcome to Story Duels, where nobody knows how to build a deck. Now, that's not true. The decks are built around making the crap that happened in the anime happen, for better or for worse. You can, you too can relive relive the anime moments, where that thing that should should never have happened in the, in the anime won't happen for you, because the chances are too low. Monster Reincarnation. This isn't going to help me. <laughs> oh, boy. There's like a one in billion chance of drawing that card when you needed it, Yugi. And you, the player, are going to have to play the duel a billion times before it happens for you. I don't think I'm going to succeed. Just a hunch. <laughs> Rude Kaiser. That's not gonna do anything either. Oh. Imagine if this happened in the show. Yugi's just like, all right, I, I am my turn. I drew nothing. I, I guess I lose. Game over. Man, just attacked me with Cocoon of Evolution. The disrespect. Disrespect right there. Destroy field spells with burning land. Thanks, game. Thanks. I never would have thought of doing that. Can you believe that, chat? He was able to attack because he had the field spell to boost his power. Um, skip. Let's go. That was embarrassing. I like some of the designs on the newer Yu-Gi-Oh card artwork. Part of the reason I want to get some of them is I, I, I just want, like, a binder full of, like, those illustrations. Ooh, I got a field spell. Maybe I can do something. I also got Monster Reborn. And Rude Kaiser. Dinosaur Zombie and Rock Monsters gain... Oh, hang on. So none of those things I have in my hand. Alright. That's, that's, that's impressive. I'm gonna try, you know what, I already know he has, like, buffing attacks, so we're gonna go ahead and put that down for now. I, I might as well activate it, there's no reason not to. 
My grandpa put his heart and soul, but clearly not his knowledge, into this deck. Oh, he's not gonna buff? Darn it, well at least I have a chance here. Or not, because he just put two face downs. Okay. I don't have Summon Skull. Let's go ahead and just put Celtic Guardian down. Uh, I'll save my Monster Reborn for now. This is probably going to activate one of his cards, but whatever. I got to activate them at some point regardless. Hmm. Because if there's one thing I'm confident this deck doesn't have, it's back row removal. Oh. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I see, that's how he did it. I hate him. I might be in trouble. So hang on a second. Tribute one insect monster on the field, equipped with an equipped card. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, that's the extra reason he has laser cannon armor. Special summon one insect monster from your deck and foreign its summoning condition. During your main phase, you can banish this card, then target one insect monster in your GY, shuffle it into the deck. I've got Horn of the Unicorn, but he's got perfectly ultimate great moth, so I kind of lose. Too little too late for this card, huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna end. Oh boy. Yugi's playing with the Season 1 deck, and Weavile's... I just call them Weavile. Weevil. <laughs> yeah, just enough to kill me. I should have just summoned one thing, but whatever. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Let's get him. Um, I'm gonna go second this time. How about that? Weavile Underwood. Wow! <laughs> Thanks, game. Just stack both of these on and go for it. All depends on what I draw. Curse of Dragon. Alright, let's go for it. Let's just put them both down. Because he's going to kill me with everything else regardless. Make sure that moth can't get me. That moth is not going to get its lamp. Of all the things... Mm hmm. I didn't expect it to be that. Well, I can't. I'm dead. I'm. I'm gonna draw dead cards for the next two turns. <laughs> I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have went all in. I expected him to be smarter. No, he was smarter than me. Who am I kidding? I did just do it myself, and I'm okay with that. Shuffle my hand because he knows what I'm drawing. I might be in trouble. Might be in big trouble. He's gonna do the thing. No. <laughs> Can't attack the moon. I put both Unicorn Horns on at first, because normally he just buffs his monsters right away and beats over what I have, so I thought it'd be safer to do that. I should have waited till like, main phase two to do it. It's over. I ruined my, my next two draw phases because of that. Yes, 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 I know, I know about Burning Land, but I can't draw it. Don't worry, it gets better when we get to the Exodia guy. I think they actually nerfed his AI a little bit in this version. Try going second again. And this time, let's remember that Maneater Bug is a card that exists, and I should be afraid of it in Series 1. Is it fair to just call it Gen 1 Yu-Gi-Oh, like with Pokemon? Oh, finally. There it is. Now we can make the anime episode happen. And I have a defensive monster, actually. 
Then I can buff with this. Where was this hand a few turns ago? Or a few attempts ago? Um... Should I try just attacking him to bait the man-eater bug? I think I will. Go ahead and set that for now. What's that? Howling Insect. Card is destroyed. You can special summon an insect monster. Oh, one of those. Okay, fair enough. Save Burning Land for now. Save it for when he plays his forest. Then I'll activate Wasteland. Otherwise I'll be destroying my own thing. This is fine. Just old school Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, but there's different, like, series of Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, goes GX, then 5D, Zexel, Arc 5. That's a great name for it. Then Brains. Um, do I want to waste my Mirror Force now? Not really. I'll let him take this. There's better things to use Mirror Force on. Oh yeah, Sevens is a thing, isn't it? But it, it Sevens is kind of a thing where it's more aimed at like a younger audience, more in Japan. So no one really cares all that much about it at the moment. Um, there we go. Anyways, he played his thing, so let me activate this. Burn it all down. And then I'm gonna set this. And then I'm gonna activate Wasteland. I'll get 200 defense when he, if he attacks me. Now I just gotta deal some damage and I should be able to win. Um, hopefully he'll play that Moth next turn so I can Mirror Force it away. It should be fine. Sevens is kind of a, di a whole different card game from what I understand. Like, they kind of just, like, simplified the game to make it appeal to a different audience, yeah. I knew it was going to happen. There he goes. I saved it. Build him up to knock him down. In every standby phase, I'm going to take turn, or take damage. Beast. Uh, I'm not so sure. I don't, I don't think this thing's going to be able to hurt, so I'm going to leave it down for now. Neither is Giant Soldier of Stone. I'm not worried about him attacking me right now, because I got the soldier. I could do this to speed up the damage and also break his forest, but I need to make sure- I need to have the 500 point lead, because I'm gonna die first from the standby phase damage, so... For now, let's wait. There we go. Graceful Charity. He's trying to make Exodia, or what? All right, I can sacrifice, but is that uh, is that safe to do right now? No, he's playing defensively because I killed his ace monster. It probably would be safe. Or I could wait for Curse of Dragon and just summon a free fusion monster without giving up my those guys there. So I'll keep waiting. How about that? Your bunny's reacting to my voice. Well, only the mods are able to post uh, links in chat, so you can't do that right now. All right. Probably just tag me on like social media or something for that. No reason to really activate that again, but I can also just wait. In fact, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep waiting. All that burn damage. All right. Now I've got the, I've got the life point lead. I didn't even need to do anything. Or wait, no, no, never mind. Take no battle damage from that battle. 
Well, he'll take... No, actually, no. He'll take 500 in his standby phase. Then he'll... Okay, yeah. So it's safe to do this now. Let's just put it down. They want me to win by burning land with this deck. It's really weird. I guess I'll end turn. Now each turn we're going to take a thousand damage. And he's got another one of those, of course. Where's Dark Hole when you need it? Ugh, polymerization again. It's fine. He takes his damage first, so we'll be okay. Turn end. Hopefully he doesn't have, like, anything that gives him piercing. That'd be annoying. And now we do the slow burn. Goki Bore. His field is full. I guess I'll just summon this. <laughs> Yeah, the first little bit of, Yu of the Yu-Gi-Oh! duels are pretty underwhelming. They have to mix in some newer cards just to make them remotely interesting. That's pretty much expected. Can I have Curse of Dragon now? No. Okay. Wish I could end it a little faster, but this is all I can do. <laughs> you got one more turn, Weevil. Well. So activate this. All I have to do is end my turn and I win. Your standby phase is you stand by and die. Yeah! It's over. I've won. No, impossible. My moth is unbeatable. Yeah! Wonderful. Now we at the Harpy Lady. Yugi wasn't the only duelist who was motivated to win the tournament for a loved one. Despite being a novice duelist, Joey had his own reason for wanting to win. His sister, Serenity. I'd better be the champion for Serenity's sake. She always counted on me, even when we were kids. I'm gonna win this tournament and the prize money. I'm gonna make sure you don't lose your eyesight by paying for your surgery, I promise. This mediative moment was rudely broken when Joey and his friends heard someone laughing and taunting another duelist a short du distance away. I almost just said duelstance. <laughs> What's wrong with me? A voice that annoying can only belong to my. The team met my Valentine on the boat to Duelist Kingdom. She was a manipulative, self-absorbed duelist who had the uncanny ability to always know what card she would always draw next. Hey, Yugi, your duel's going well. I might be up for a duel myself, so get ready because I choose to challenge you, Joey. What? You challenge me? Do you have the guts to accept? I accept. Let's duel. Get ready to lose. Oh, boy. I remember this one being fun. I get to use... Old school Joey cards against Mai, who gets like harpy cards from like a decade later. Time wizard to age the harpies. I'm just gonna go second and accept my fate. I'm not going to win the first time. I'm gonna summon like a mountain warrior or something, and she's gonna laugh at me. Oh, Rude Kaiser, even better. Time wizard, we're gonna win the 50 50. Tiger Axe, fast and powerful axe-wielding beast. Serenity is named Shizuka in the Japanese version, and Shizuka means quiet. Okay, that's nice. That's a cute touch, I guess. I should just go to attack the face down, maybe. Let's activate this. She doesn't have any face downs yet, so we should take advantage of that. Dark Hole and Raigeki is good to start, I suppose. I might get lucky here. Bird face. Uh oh. Okay, not Cyber Harpy, so that's alright. I'll live. I will live. Joey, be careful! Air monsters aren't 
are powerful against earth monsters in this episode for some reason. No one knows why. Harpy Chandler. Harpy Dancer. And harpies are doing harpy things. Why'd you do that? Well, it doesn't matter. Go ahead, attack me. I have Raigeki. Or Dark Hole will be better here since I don't have a monster yet. Baby dragon! I love this little fella. Okay, then. I'm just... Let, let's do this. Oh. Then target two cards on the field, destroy- what? Okay, I see, you want to get rid of my field spell. You think you're clever with that, don't you? Well, guess what? I'm gonna summon my baby, and the baby's gonna give you the slap. Get him, little fella. And... I end my turn. Mountain. Wait, doesn't that- that buffed me. What is that thing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Battlestorm. This card gains 100 attack for each winged beast monster you control. Once per turn, you can target one spell trap card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. You must control three more winged beast monsters to activate and resolve this effect. Okay. Well, I could just summon Time Wizard and hope for the 50-50. I don't want to waste Raigeki, but... Yeah! I won the good luck, chat. Game with the Time Wizard. Turn Endo. My baby got destroyed. Harpy Queen! Darn it. What's this thing's effect? Uh, discard this card to add Harpy's Hunting Ground from deck to your hand. Alright. Battle Ox. Mm, okay. I might be in trouble for this one already, sadly. Anything she summons, like, she has one card in her hand, so I I'm gonna have to just, like... Um... Should I go for the 50-50 save Raigeki? I'm gonna try it again. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. But I don't have much faith this one's gonna succeed. Tails. Got it. I got both the time wizards. Can Joey make the comeback? True Joey. He always wins time wizard. Oh. Deja vu, I've been to this place before. Is Time Wizard actually killing them, or is he just resetting the turn? Kunai with Chain. Okay, this might be what I need to win. But I have no choice but to use this up now. Okay, let me read this again. Activate one or both of these simultaneously. When opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster, change the defense position. Target one, face up monster you control, put this card to that target. Alright, so I should put Battle Ox out and then save Kunai with Chain. I believe Joey can have a comeback. If I keep trying this duel long enough, eventually I will. No. Let it go. What's she gonna do? Aha! Alright, safe to hold down the skip then. Four-star Ladybug of Doom. Flip, destroy all level four monsters your opponent controls. Alright. Um, I guess I could set this. That's a really old card, ain't it? No, I don't need the boost. Okay, for now, let's end turn.
Battle Storm. Okay, let's watch carefully. Wait for the attack. Okay, now let's activate and get both effects. Both effects. Monster to a okay, monster to equip. Okay. Just making sure I understand that it's not equipping to this thing to change its. I'm I'm just scared. You got to read these cards. They do dangerous things. That's why the Egyptians got ruined over it. Okay, equip to you. All right then. And now we summon Axe Raider. And you know what I can do? Would it be a good idea to flip this thing? Um. Oh wait, I can finish her off. Yeah, let me do that. Cause I'm worried I might take damage next turn. First, Ladybug hit. Did Joey just make the comeback? Yes, he did. Yes, this man did. You all didn't believe in the heart of the cards, and it shows. Uh, how could I ever lose to such an amateur? Maya, I tried to tell you. There's more of the duel monsters than just kicking the other guy's butt. If you're ever going to be a real champion, you gotta learn to care about someone other than yourself. Or just get lucky with Time Wizard two times in a row. Beep, beep, boop. Attack from the deep. The truth and power of the Millennium Puzzle was beginning to dawn on Yugi. During his duels, the puzzle infused Yugi with the power and soul of an ancient spirit. Though this was a major issue to ponder, there was a smaller but no less important matter to deal with first. All the dueling made me hungry. Did any of you guys remember to bring food? Sorry, Joey. What were we thinking coming here with no food? How are we ever going to get through the rest of the competition without anything to eat? That's a good question. The dueling really takes it out of you, and I haven't seen any burger stands or restaurants since we got here. I smell something cooking that away. They followed the scent to the beach where they spotted a campfire with several roasting fish in the distance. Oh man, I love barbecued fish. It smells good. And I bet it tastes even better. What makes you guys think the fish are ours to eat? Eh, trust me, we eat first and ask questions later. Your stomachs will thank me. Joey ran down to the campfire. Joey would say anything to fill his belly. Some people have no self-control. Stomach growl. Joey, save some for me. Tristan ran after Joey. It wasn't long before Yugi and Taya joined them as well. Joey grabbed one of the fish from the fire. Oh man, looks awesome. Just as the team began to bite into the fish, a young man emerged from the ocean with the spear in his hand. Enjoy yourselves, you fish thieves, for this is your last meal. I knew this was a bad idea. How dare you steal my fish, you bottom-beating thieves. Hey, chill out, guy. It's just a few fish. A few fish that do not belong to you, and to steal a fisherman's catch is to prove you have no honor. Wait a second. Aren't you Mako Tsunami, the top-ranked ocean duelist? And who might you be? I'm Yugimoto. Sorry about your fish. You're Yugimoto, the only duelist to defeat Seto Kaiba? What a fine surprise. I must apologize, I've been ungracious. If you're friends of Yugi, please come sit down and eat your fill. The team sat down at the fire and shared a meal with Mako. After the feast, the team thanked Mako and started to head out, when Mako threw his spear at the ground in front of them. I treated you to dinner, perhaps you will honor me with a duel. He's nuts. No, I'm an expert fisherman, and you've taken my bait. What bait? Why, the fish, of course. I laid it out and lured you three right in, but I never expected to catch Yugimoto. I reeled in another duelist a short time ago, but he was not a worthy opponent. But a duel against you, Yugi, would be a true test. Mako Tsunami, I accept your challenge. All right. Well, let's go beat him up, and then he'll spend the rest of his life, life hanging out at the Galapagos Islands. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna go second. I'm gonna see what he does first. I've got... I, I can attack the moon, chat. These monsters are hiding. Once per turn, when the battle position of a rock-type monster you control is changed, you can target one spell or trap your opponent controls. Destroy that target. 
Golem Sentry. Once per turn, you can flip this card to face down defense position. When this card is flipped, summon target one monster your opponent controls, return it to the hand. Continuous. Alright, let's activate it then. Hmm. Yeah, just put it down. No reason not to. Rocks versus water. Old Yu-Gi-Oh! had this really weird mishmash of random monster designs, didn't it? You can only really describe it as old series Yu-Gi-Oh! There's just a bunch of random things. Oh, that thing. That's a random thing. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, when it says once per turn... Instead of, you can only use the effect of attack the moon once per turn. That's that's the difference between a soft and hard once per turn, right? So that means it's once per turn for each copy of the card on the field, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to try that. I mean, he only has one spell or trap. Yes, yes, okay. Just making sure I get that right. But yeah, he only has one copy anyway, so... Wait, what? No, no, I wanted to change your battle position, you fool. I can flip summon it anyway, so it's fine. Return. Oh, I'm using the golems thing first. My mistake. And then we're going to activate this. Yeah, I just got my order of cards incorrect. Target the same card twice. Adding to the chain achievement, I guess. And now he's completely defenseless. I may as well use the horn at this point. Fortunately, I already used its effect to turn it face down again, so that's my goof. I meant to ch I meant to change its uh just change it to attack position. I hit its effect to flip it down. Boop, boop, boop. Guess I'll just end. That's how you destroy the moon. Yeah, Attack the Moon was like a moment in this episode of the anime that they eventually turned into a card. There's like some random moment where, where, where like Duelist Kingdom rules. Yugi's just like, giant soldier of stone, attack the moon because I said so. And then they're just like, that's not a rule. Let's make it a card. Targeting one monster your opponent controls. This seems like a good idea to put down for now. And I'll activate its effect in main phase two. For now, let's summon you. Oh. I don't know why I forgot that card exists, but it's fine. I have Spellbinding Circle. I'll live. Just give me a couple turns. A couple turns here, chat. That's a, a pretty piss-poor monster to waste that on. Yeah, let him attack me. I don't care. I end my turn, because you can't do jack to me right now. Jack. That can. Actually, let me see if he, sac if he tributes first. Battle phase, okay. Use it on that guy. He got scared, and I got this now. Okay, this card is flip summon. Target one monster opponent controls. So for now, let's just set this guy. Every time I try and use Horn of the Unicorn, it always throws me off, doesn't it? Yeah, he's sacrificing. And Spellbinding Circle is now stuck on my field. He had 50 more. That piece of crap. Karibo. I don't think Karibo's gonna help me here. But I can use it to stop taking damage from one attack from him. Yeah, sure. I throw Karibo away and stop.
Ooh. Fancy. I love Dark Magician. I love it so much that I keep it in my hand forever instead of putting it on the field. Because I need to sacrifice two monsters for it. Oh, come on. Why is this thing still in my deck? It's so bad. The only thing rude about this Kaiser is that it overstays its welcome. Oh boy, I sure am glad I drew Rude Kaiser, said literally no one ever. Shark got hands. Oh, five, so I can't summon it without sacrifice. <gasps> the beaver. Well, time to waste my time using this horn again, but. What can you do? Can't let him sacrifice into something else. What's he got? What do you got? That's right, you got nothing. Ooh. Let's set this, and maybe next turn I could sacrifice it for Root Kaiser. I don't want to risk leaving it vulnerable, because I know for sure it can attack me. I don't trust attacking that face down. It's like a Moomin Warrior. Yeah, it could be. Excuse me, is that a ritual card? Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 no. Cut that out, please. No, no. Stop that. I should have attacked that thing, yeah. I should have attacked that thing. He still would have had the whale on board, so it's not like it matters. Well. Well, looks like I'm dead. He used his rich his ritual cards were the monsters in his hand, so even if I did destroy that face down, <laughs> it would have bought me like what extra one extra turn. I don't know if it would have helped. It's fine. Let's try again. Let's get him. I'm gonna go second again. I want the extra card. I got a moon. And I got a stone. And I got attack the moon. The gang's all here. And Pot agreed. Well, that's weird. All right, then. Let's activate the magic jar. Ooh. I've got my fusion materials. Beast warrior. Oh, it's an equip, not a field. Okay. Do I go to attack him? Well, no, I can't, actually. I don't have the stats for it. Beast warrior. I don't have a beast warrior, so... We're gonna go ahead and set you. We're gonna go ahead and activate you. And I want him to attack. Do I want to put Spellbinding down yet? Hmm. I'll put it down. I'll just hold the skip the prompts. He can't do anything to me. Because my microphone's a little tilted. Flying fish. That's right. Made a mistake. How dare you do that? Alright, and here's this card I hate so much. But I might just do it anyway. So, change to attack position. Activate the effect of attack the moon. Get rid of this. Oh, I don't need to do that. And... Now I'm gonna summon Celtic Guardian. And I'm gonna... Every time I use this card, it doesn't work out, but I got a feeling. This time. This is gonna be... This is gonna be it. Just watch. You'll see. Got him. 
We got him. He's got- I attack the moon and everything. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Whatever. That's fine. Another unicorn. Change defense position. Is it like whenever I ch anything changes? Okay. Opponent doesn't have any smaller trap cards, so I can't do that. I think I'll try and save this now. Why don't I? Because I have Spellbinding Circle. Yeah, Flying Fish. He's got nothing. Monster Reborn? Well, I have nothing to reborn right now, so it's fine. Um... I've got nothing of his to, um... Nothing of his to destroy, so I don't want to swap my position just yet. Let's just go to battle phase and play it completely safe. Aqua Snake. He barely has any cards in his hands. I'm just worried he's gonna pull another Fortress Whale. And I don't want to leave my giant soldier of stone so vulnerable when he has so much more life points left. This I can use the moon on. Place it there. Give it a couple hundred extra. Let's attack. I'm not going to trust the horn, because every time I put that stupid card down, I end up stuck drawing it while he kills me. Another Yumi. Another Umi, sorry. I always call it Yumi. Because the big U. I think I just beat him. He can't really do nothing, can he? I'll just put this thing in attack mode. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna destroy this for good measure, cause it's cannon. First, stab him with that tiny sword. Get him, Link. Yeah! What a grand duel. I salute you, my friend. The victory was not easily won, Mako. You're a great duelist yourself. Yeah! Alright. Dinosaur Duelist. My Valentine sat on a hill, having a quiet moment to herself. I don't get it. Trashing hotshot duelist is usually as fun as a fall clearance sale. Why can't I enjoy it anymore? Girl, it's all because of that obnoxious punk Joey. I can't believe such an amateur beat me. I've got to get even with that grinning gutter punk. At that moment, Rex Raptor, whom I dueled and defeated on the way to Duelist Kingdom, jumped out and surprised her. It's me, Rex Raptor the Dino Duelist, and I'm itching to finish that match we started on the boat. Funny, I thought I already knocked you out on your Jurassic butt. Think whatever you want, you're about to get stomped. You think I'm gonna waste another minute with a pea brain like you? Bean it, Dino Breath. Shoo shoo. Pea brain, I happen to have been a finalist in this year's regional championship. I'll have you know that I've already won five star chips. Maya held up her bracelet to show off her star chips. Oh, how'd you get eight already? From wannabes like you who think that dueling a chick, they'll score some easy stars. I've only lost once, but once I find that punk kid Joey, it's payback. Joey Wheeler? How could you lose to him? I'd see. I'd love to see you try, and hmm, that gives me an idea. Rex, I'll agree to duel you if you do something for me first. Maya and Rex search for Yugi and his friends in hopes of finding Joey. It wasn't long before they did. Oh, tell me that's not who I think it is. How are you, Joseph? Glad to see me. Ecstatic. <laughs> so, Joey, is Yugi still fighting all your battles for you? Everyone knows if Yugi wasn't there to hold your hand, you wouldn't have beat me. Isn't that right, Yugi? That is not true. Oh, really? Then I propose he steps out of your shadow here and now. If Joey thinks he's so tough, let's see him play for himself. 
Think you have the guts to step up and face the duelist I arranged for you? I'm dueling on my behalf. Recognize me? That's Rex Raptor. This twerp's supposed to scare me or something? I bet you he ain't so tough. Don't you remember, Joey? Rex placed second in the regionals. Well, Joey, you gonna ask Mommy's permission or what? This is your big chance to prove yourself, or are you gonna back out? Don't worry, sis, I'll make you proud. All right, then. It's dino feeding time. Let's duel. Bring it. All right. Wow, second place in the regionals. How do I gonna deal with that? So impressive. I'll have you know I play second at regionals for Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, let me go second. I want that extra card because I know Joey's got so much crap in there he doesn't need it. Oh, wow! It's a whole hand of Rude Kaisers. And he's playing Gillosaurus. Me thinks I'm not gonna win. <laughs> oh, wow. Discard one card. Rest the turn. Reduce the levels all monsters in your hand by two. Ooh. Maybe that will help me out. Card gains fire attack for each lava battle guard you control. With the sound of that. Kunai with chain. I might stand a chance here. Cost down. This card is pretty much essential. If I don't draw it, I'm doomed. If I get Lava Battle Guard out, I'll have a good um, boost later. For now, let's do this. Wait for an attack. Wait for an attack. Yeah, I knew this was coming. To bring out the red eyes. Red eyes, black dragon. Activate the effect of a card. Not yet. Not yet. Wait for it. Declared an attack. Yeah! Did you see that play I just made? Cost down again. Uh, should I wait? I feel like I should wait to see if I get better cards, because I'm going to burn my whole hand at this rate. For now, let me just take out... Let me take out Red Eyes. If I can get Lava Battle Guard, this would be really good. Hmm, level 5? That's stronger than level 4, right? If I make my whole deck revolve around this, my deck will be stronger. Isn't that right, chat? Flame Manipulator. Sea of Flames and Wall of Fire. For now, I think I'll set this guy as backup fodder. So I'm trying to save um, using cost down. I just destroyed his ace monster, though, so I should be okay for the rest of this duel. Axe Raider. I can't back out of summoning it now. It's fine. Alright, let's go. Yeah, Brawn Dragon number two. We got nothing. You got nothing, chat! Flame Manipulator is one of the fusion materials for Flame Swordsman, yeah. What's my extra deck have? Thousand Dragon and Flame Swordsman. It's weird how Flame Swordsman is even a fusion. It makes very little sense to me. I'm in, I'm in the battle phase, and I just finished it. Flame Swordsman is an awful monster. Fossil. Joey's deck is kicking butt right now. When it works, it works, but the other 90% of the time, it never works. Now we got Sogan. Ooh, look at that. And now... You know what, I'm gonna summon the Rude Kaiser, because I have a feeling I'm not gonna have a moment like this for a good while. I'm not worried about fusing things. Yeah. He had the red eyes black chick there, did he? 
The black dragon. Yeah, we got him. Soul exchange. No! That's mine! Don't do that. Why are you doing that? That's rude. He killed Tristan. Can't play another one of those. Well, let's hope I can finish him. Ah, yeah, I figured we'd be even there. Nothing I can do. All right, let me just sit upright because I'm slouching in this seat. I'm not scared of Rex. What's he gonna do? All right, let's take that. I better take out his other monster for now, though. I need something, anything to kill kill that. Sword and shield. Switch the original attack and defense of all face-up monsters currently on the field. That, that won't solve anything, though. <laughs> That's just going to put us in the same situation, because I have 2,000 attack... And, and you all can see this. It's not gonna help at all. I guess I'll end my turn. I could tribute after it, but then I'd be stuck with another... That doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I gotta get rid of that stupid monster, but... All right, I'm gonna try it. Come on. There we go. That dinosaur is useless. And next turn, he's finally dead. That better not be another one. Snatch steel. Uh, can't use it. Because it's not face up. Might as well set it. If that is another one of those 2,000 defense pieces of crap... That's right, it's not. Finish him, Rude Kaiser. I always believed in you. So I guess you won my star chips. Not only did I win your star chips, but I won your red eyes too. Yeah. You got red eyes. There we go. Evil spirit of the ring. Later that night, the team settled down for dinner when they were visited by their high school friend Bakura. As they chatted around the campfire... Conversation soon turned to dueling. Let's have a duel right now. Not for star chips, but just for a little fun. I'm down with that. After all this star chip stuff, it would be nice to have a duel with no strings attached. I agree. I think just a regular old duel sounds like a great idea. Before we get started, there's a little something I'd like to share with you, and especially you, Yugi. It can't be. A Millennium Item. Yes, and my m magic Millennium Ring will take us to the Shadow Realm. Why are you doing this, Bakura? You have something I want, and I aim to take it. Bakura, possessed by some unknown spirit, used the power of Millennium Ring to lock away his friend's souls. Their souls have been locked away, and now, after waiting for countless centuries, the Millennium Puzzle is mine. Just as Bakura tried to grab the Millennium Puzzle, it started to glow. The spirit within the puzzle awoke, manifesting himself in Yugi. No, it can't be! You want my Millennium Puzzle, then you're gonna have to duel me for it. But if you win, or if I win, you'll release my friends and send us all back. Haha, -ha, I agree to your ridiculous terms, Yugi, but I promise you, there is more at stake here than you can comprehend. And this is one shadow game you cannot win. Alright. That's what they all say. You can't beat me. I'm, I'm the bad guy. And then you just beat, and then you... The character beats him by, like, cheating or something. A 
Hey, it's Tristan. And would this be the top half or the bottom half of the one from Brooklyn? Who can say? When a monster will be summoned, tribute one monster to negate the summon. If you do, destroy that monster. Okay. Why not? This big old guy with a big old eye shoots a nasty ray beam right at you. Cool, Joey. Cool. Let's put Tristan out on the field with his little nerf gun. <laughs> the flavor text. Hi, Mina. Change of heart. You can't do that. Mino Mushi Warrior. Tristan, how could you do this to me? Why? Rock Ogre Grotto. Protected by a solid body of rock, this monster throws bone shattering punch. Well, I can't beat anything he has. What else is new with, with the Yugi's deck? May as well put it in defense position now. Graceful Charity. Why can't I have cool cards like that? Tristan's dead. The Earl of Demise. Not today, mister. I was gonna sacrifice Tristan for this, but this works too. Turn change. Coffin cellar. Alright. I could wait for polar or no not polymerization for flame manipulator i'm gonna hit him with miyatoko because as the description said he's a big old guy with a big old eye he's about to shoot a nasty beam right at you it's gotta re be i'm gonna look real stupid if i don't get flame manipulator next turn of course these cards are trash my friends are a part of them yeah! I don't know what I expected. That's okay, I have Dark Hole. Hey, it's Taya! What do I have in here? I don't even have a spell card to use yet. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna do this. How about that? I don't even want Dark Hole back. I just want you gone. Headless Knight, and he's dead. Watch me draw Flame Manipulator now. Oh look, it's another one. See, I can still fuse if I want to, maybe. Maybe. Mino Mushi Warrior, here we go. I'll take this back. I'd rather lose than summon flame swordsman. Who among us wouldn't? Soul charge. Target any number of monsters in your GY. Special summon them. If you do, lose a thousand life points for each special summon monster. You cannot conduct your battle phase turn. You activate this card. Well, that's not really going to help me now, is it? <laughs> Two monsters. If I fusion summon at this point, I'm gonna take 600 damage, but I need to have something on the field. Is this- I don't think this is really worth it with Coffin Cellar active, honestly. These are- like, yeah, no, it's- I kinda just lost this one no matter what I really do. <laughs> Joey normal summon Flame Swordsman because he's a- he's a cheater, and he has no idea what he's doing. Well, that's what I get for not putting you down. Hoping I can- There it is! About to commit the ultimate shame. 
playing flame swordsman. Flame swordsman. Oh yeah, I can put it in the extra monster zone. Not done. 600. Oh, okay. Only 300 per instance. I see. I forgot about that part. Soul charge. Um, I, I'm gonna, I can't really afford to do that with Coffin Cellar active. Why are any fusion monsters fusion monsters? Because they're lame. That's why. Lightning Vortex. And now we hope that Flame Swordsman is going to be enough. Oh, don't you, don't you dare. Hang on, you just refreshed my hand. What am I complaining about? Happy Lover. Aw, oh, how wholesome. Enemies become overjoyed when struck by the heart ray emitted from the forehead of this tiny thing. Graceful Charity. Destroy all face-up rock-type monsters on the field. How is this going to help me? Like, I'm gonna use it on his morphing jar. That's gonna happen, realistically. Let's activate Graceful Charity. Maybe something good will happen. What is this thing? Skull Stalker. First, we'll get rid of that. Then we'll get rid of Dark Magician. Yeah, do that. Do that. See if I care. Forsty's gonna grab your monster with his claws, then attack again with his poison sting. Stinger. What a weird, dumb, dumb card. I'll take a Dark Magician in just one moment. But first... Ooh, ooh boy. I summon Yugi in attack mode. Hey, that's not the right Dark Magician color. This clearly shows on the card that the purple is not real. Summoning these guys would be a mistake, because any damage I take is also coupled with that 300 from that, so gotta play it safe. And that was my main phase two, so now we end. Please don't have Mirror Force. I'm begging you to not have Mirror Force. Please. Now I better save this in case it is Mirror Force. Oh, I can't back out. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna regret this. Wow, I actually survived. Turn end. More Monster Reborns. They really want me to save my friends, but I don't want to. Let's finish them. The white magical hat. Just enough. I win. I have succeeded. With the destruction of the evil spirit's last card, Bakora was freed from the grip of the evil spirit. Are you okay, Bakora? I am now, thanks to you. Where'd you get your Millennium Ring? My father picked it up on one of his trips. He told me it's from ancient Egypt. He was shopping in a merchant's bazaar when the Millennium Ring caught his eye. The man who sold the ring to my father said it had something to do with dual monsters, but that never made any sense to me since the card game is new and the ring is clearly ancient. When my father got back, he gave it to me. He said he felt like I was destined to have it. Excellent. Now we're at panic. When Taya, Tristan, and Joey awoke, they thought Yugi's duel against Bakura was only a dream. I just dreamt that Bakura went totally mental on us. 
Same here. Last time I snooze around with dueling cards under my pillow. That's a weird thing to say, Joey. Sleep well, guys. Ah, Bakora, don't hurt me. <laughs> Suddenly, the team heard a scream come from the woods. That sounded like my. The team ran through the forest into a clearing and saw a very large duelist defeating my. Bye-bye, birdies. My harpies, they're gone. I think you mean eliminated, just like you. Now hand over all your star chips, loser. My, are you okay? This sideshow freak giving you a hard time? That's right, just like Pegasus pays me to do. Root out all of the dueling filth on this island and dispose of it. Doesn't that make you a garbage man? This is no joke. Panic's one of the island's eliminators. If you don't get out of here, he's gonna do it to you what he did to me. Check out her duelist glove. Not a star chip left. You're out of the tournament, Mai? I am. It all happened so fast. The way Panic duels, I just lost it. Ha, she was one of my easiest victims yet. Panic pushed Mai to the ground. Whoa. You creep. That's no excuse for pushing a girl. I've dealt with a lot of bullies in my life, and I'm afraid there's only one way to deal with them. You have to stand up to them. Let's see you try your intimidation tactic. It, intimidation tactics against me, Panic. I don't scare easy, especially when I'm standing up to my for my friends. Yugi, huh? Must be my lucky day. Pegasus has promised a generous bounty to the to the eliminator who defeats you. Think he'd throw in some extra cash for inflicting bodily harm? Ha <laughs> It's a card game, man. I'll wager all the star chips I have to win Mai's. It's a deal. If you win, I'll give you all eight of her star chips, because your bet makes no difference to me. What do you mean? What I mean, little Yugi, is when you duel against Panic, you're putting much more than just your measly star chips on the line. I can see the fear growing in your eyes. I do believe you're beginning to panic. Are you finished blowing smoke, Panic? The last time someone had the nerve to talk to me like that, I broke him in half. Now let's duel. All right. Let's go. Okay. Fix how we sit. And let's go. First to go. Oh boy, a turtle. It's got a launcher on its back. Bone Crusher! This card is special summon from your graveyard by the effect of a zombie type monster. You can turn one spell trap card into your opponent's controls. Destroy that target. During the end phase of the turn, this card was special summon. Destroy it. Alright then. Hmm. I can activate this right away and get the lead. Couldn't I? It seems like it would be a good idea to just play defensively right off the bat. So let's do that. Activate Burning Land. I end my turn. I think in the Japanese version, the, the PK on his coat stands for, like, player killer or something. And they just made it panic for this version. Drew, activate the effect of the cards. No thank you. We got Mother Grizzly here. When this card is destroyed by Battle of the Graveyard, you can special summon a water monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck. Face up attack position. Hmm. Wait a bit longer, because I want Mystical Elf to stay on the field for me. I end my turn. It stands for Casper? No, it doesn't. Now, don't be ridiculous. Why wouldn't it stand for that? Almost skipped that. Ooh! Turtles already. What's scarier than Turtle Head? A turtle with a catapult. Okay, he's not gonna summon anything. Or is he? Frenzy Panda. End phase, okay. Now then, once per turn, you can tribute one monster and inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the tributed monster's attack on the field. So let me put you in defense position, first of all. 
Didn't this card used to just have... It didn't used to be once per turn, right? I'm pretty sure it got, like, super nerfed because it was busted back in the day, wasn't it? Um... Let's do this. And then we'll use the effect. Just slowly whittle him down with Catapult Turtle and friend. It'd be easier to do this than activating or dealing with him directly because of his stupid effects. If he wants to summon something, I got spell I got Spellbinding Circle to stop him. He's got nothing. Mother Grizzly. I'm whittling him down with Burning Land so I can just keep summoning normal monsters. Or any rank kind of monster, whatever, and just damage him to make it faster. I have the lead and it'll just go faster like this. He's got nothing. What was this thing? Barely anything. It would be nice if I could get another monster on board so I can sacrifice and summon Dark Magician to, to catapult, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I only have one Spellbinding Circle and everything's too weak to last. So I'll just keep summoning one monster at a time. Wait, those are hands? Whoa, I never noticed that about that thing's card art. Yeah. We got him. Strategic turtle power here. Hit him with another 600, I guess. Where's that horn of the unicorn now? Well, I wouldn't use it because it would be pretty bad for this situation, actually. Mother Grizzly is just there to make sure you can summon the turtle, pretty much. I'm just slowly burning him. He just keeps summoning zombie monsters, and he's just like, I can't do anything. This is dumb. <laughs> he's buffing defenses. Monster Reborn. Ooh. Uh, hang on a second. I can Monster Reborn something, then sacrifice dark for Dark Magician, then catapult it. Let's do that. It doesn't matter what I pick. Make it go a little faster. Time to clean up. Remember, chat, if you have a Magician... Send it, just launch it at your opponent. It won't be able to do a thing. Activate effect. Nice. I pretty much won. All I have to do is end my turn and I win. Man activated that twice. He's so desperate. He can't do a thing. Oh, look. Swords are revealing light. I can't reveal darkness. You can't do anything to me. I win. Launch Karibo at him. Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> but that would have been funny. Nobody beats Panic! Nobody! Yugi, you are incredible. The Millennium Puzzle has more power than we thought. Yugi, I don't know what to say. Here, these star chips are yours. Take them. I'm sorry, but I can't accept them. I fight my own battles. My, Yugi risked his life in this duel for you. I know, but... There's no point in arguing. She's way too thick-headed, but if she'd rather be booted off the island, I'll take them. You think me losing all my star chips is funny, Joey Wheeler? 
I thought you didn't want them, Mai. Give me them back. Of course you can have them. They're, your they're yours. Really, Joey? Didn't you learn anything from this duel? You can't always keep up your defenses because they'll just get between you and other people who are trying to be your friends. That is a lame message of that episode. So you can't let your shield down just this one time? Aw. Oh. <laughs> Hear that, chat? If you, if you play too many defense position monsters, that says a lot about you as a person. Arena of Lost Souls. Joey huffed and puffed as he ran in fear. He took a quick glance behind him to see Kaiba's blue eyes white dragon barreling down onto him. Blue Eyes was about to make a snack out of Joey when Joey woke up from his nightmare. Man, out of context with just that line alone, I feel like you could make that really... E. A dream. Phew. Kaiba. We'll see who eats the dog chow on this island. You're not helping it, Joey. You're not helping it. Everybody wake up. Joey, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. It's a brand new day of the tournament, and I'm hot to find us a duel. Well, don't you don't have to yell about it. Hey guys, what's the commotion? Good morning, Taya. Where's Mai? Isn't she with you? She said she had to go and to give you this note. The note said that Mai borrowed eight of Yugi's star chips. Well, you can kiss those star chips goodbye. I don't know. Maybe we can really trust Mai. And if not, we're still the team supreme, right? Right. Okay then, move out. I wonder how many duelists are left on the island. They shipped a couple dozen home yesterday. And I bet even more have been eliminated by now. And some of them were really good players with powerful cards. We could be next. Not a chance, Yug. The other guys just wanted the prize. You and Joey have a lot more at stake. That's right. I gotta rescue Grandpa from Pegasus. And Joey needs the prize money to help his sister. The duelists we face today will be even stronger because they survived the first round. Even stronger? Careful what you say, Yugi. You got little Joey here shaking in his sneakers. What? You think I'm a scared little puppy dog? Well, if the collar fits. All right, break it up. You just bring on any duelist and I'll cream him. Right, you gotta believe in yourself, Joey. Little did Joey know that they were being watched by one of Bandit Keith's cronies. Bo uh, bones? Chat, it is Bones, right? It's not Bonds. It's Bones, I think. I think. Does it really matter? It's... It's a, like, C-list Yu-Gi-Oh villain. Who cares? Bones. We found two duelists. One is just a stupid git. What? The other is a good duelist. His name is Yugi. He's the kid who beat Kaiba. Everyone figures him to make it all the way to Pegasus's castle. Yugi, huh? Yeah, I heard of him. He's supposed to be a tough little squirt. That is, if you believe his reputation. Yeah, we've never seen him duel. How do we know how good Yugi really is? Nobody's gonna get the capsule except for us. That's why I teamed up with the most brilliant duelist on the whole island. That's right. So if you want to win this tournament, you'll keep cool and let Bandit Keith do the thinking for you. Thinking to himself, you hear me, Pegasus? Soon it'll be payback time. Thinking to himself, payback for the way you humiliated me at the Duelist Kingdom or Duel Monsters Intercontinental Championship. Thinking to himself, it all came down to you against me and I had you right where I wanted you. Thinking to himself, I was sure I was about to win, but you just scribbled some notes and called over a kid from the audience to duel in your place. Hey, what are you doing? Asking for help's illegal. I don't need help. A child could defeat you, Bandit Keith, and I'm gonna prove it. Pegasus handed the note to the child. Just follow these instructions and you'll win. Thinking to himself, I didn't know what to make of it. Were you just trying to psych me out, or did you chicken out? Either way, it was fine by me, so long as I took home the prize money. After Bandit Keith played a card, the child looked at the note, followed the instructions, and took out the rest of Bandit Keith's life points. What? You little snot-nosed brat. There's no way you could have known I was going to play that card. Bandit Keith snatched the note from the child's hand. Give me that. It's all here. The card I play, how to beat it, everything. No! Thinking to himself, you may have defeated me, Pegasus, but you cheated me. Nobody makes a fool out of Bandit Keith. You said you found two duelists? Yeah, Yugi and some dweeb named Joey. Good, we'll take the dweeb out first. Did you hear that? I think we're being followed. How could we hear him? He was very clearly thinking to himself. I think you're gonna get a little paranoid, Joey. I think you've been acting hyper ever since you woke up this morning. What the heck is eating you anyway? I'm telling you, 
Somebody's stalking us. Joey ran off into the woods. Where are you going? To stalk them. As Joey wandered through the woods, he thought he heard something behind him. Suddenly, Joey's whole world turned to black as he was knocked unconscious. The next thing he knew, he woke up inside a cave. What's this place? Welcome to the arena of lost souls. Abandoned hope, for no duelist gets out alive. Hmm, so he's inside a cave, so let's use the background of, uh, outdoors with a mountain in the background. Prepare for your final duel. This arena will be your graveyard. The ghosts of the dead are all around you, Joey. There's no way to escape from your fear. Who says I'm scared? You can't hide the truth from the spirits, Joey. They see you frozen in fear. Okay, I was afraid, but not because of the graveyard or your Ooga Booga stuff. It's that creepy face that gave me the willies. Oh, lay down your star chips now. Hey, I never agreed to duel. Tough luck. You got no choice, dweeb. There has to be some way out of this. You want a way out? Well then, hand over all your star chips and crawl off like a scared little puppy dog. Joey remembered his nightmare involving Kaiba and came to a realization. If I run from this, I really will be a scared little puppy dog. So I just have to beat you. Four star chips. Let's duel. All right. Bandit Keith had a flashback that took a long time. First to go, second. Here we go. Duel! All that build up to a, a definitely, a, it's a Joey hand, all right. Salamandra. It is definitely a Joey hand. I'm gonna use the one monster I got. Masaki, the legendary swordsman. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's got a monster. Armored zombie. Yeah, let's see. Wait for him to do something. Wait for him to attack. Isn't it like... It was in um, Falsebound Kingdom, I believe, that you use an item on um, Masaki in order to turn it into armored zombie. And that monster becomes a freaking beast. Oops, no, 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 don't do that. Excellent. It, it, don't do that. Don't use one of the rarest cards in the whole game. Well, I got my Masaki back. <laughs> am I really gonna summon this monster? Of course I am. Yeah, that's right. He had nothing on backup. Was it Zonky that turns into his armored zombie? I don't know. Falsebound Kingdom is dumb. Everything about that game makes no sense. Like, isn't it like you also have to sort of evolve Gaia the Fierce Knight into Black Luster Soldier? And Black Luster Soldier has, like, green skin for some reason. Also, I'm getting destroyed by Pumpkin, King of the Ghosts. Yeah. Baby Dragon! I love how I have an equip card for, um, my fusion monster. That's a very... That's not gonna lead to any, um, dead hands whatsoever. I'm gonna give him the baby disrespect. You never mess with me here. Or you get smacked by this baby. Where's Battle Warrior when you need him? The snake hair... Uh-oh. Turn change. When opponent's monster declares an attack, destroy it. One target mirror force, I guess. Battle phase. Yes. We're gonna activate this, and we're gonna get rid of you. Because you're mean. Two cards in his hand. I got two cards in my hand. Now I got three. Flame Manipulator. Oh, you're a little late to this party. It's not even worth trying to summon this thing. I might as well hold out for my third Masaki. If I even have it at this point. Castle of Dark Illusions. I hate how it has 920 attack points. That should just be like... Whoever did that should be fired. I guarantee you there's some person out there that puts this card in their deck just to be that guy that makes you... 
have to do math that doesn't involve multiples of 50. It's rude. Select one spell card from your opponent's graveyard and use it as your hand until the end turn. If you use it, take 2,000 points. You better have a damn good spell card in here. Tribute to the Doomed? Oh, no, 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 no. I can set this, I guess. Or wait. Even then, it's not really worth using it on Flame Manipulator. It's better worth better to save it. I don't feel confident he'd last. Alright. 1930 defense. Zombie world. That's not good. Okay. All monsters on the field and in the graveyard become zombie monsters. Neither player contributes summon monsters except zombie monsters. Alright then. Can't really do I still can't really do very much. All I can do is play defensively. Which according to Joey means I'm a bad person now. I don't open up to my friends. I don't open up about any problems whatsoever. Battle warrior! A warrior that fights with his bare hands! I love this guy. You know why I love this guy? He could use a sword, he could use a gun. No, he uses his bare hands. That's how cool he is. Y'all wish you could be as cool as this guy. Turn endo. End phase. He's got nothing. Ooh, kunai with chain. I wonder... Hmm... I think I want to save that. Just a little bit longer. End turn. Pot of Greed! It's about time this card existed. Copycat. Tar card is summoned. Target one face-up monster. Opponent controls. Attack defense because equal to that monster. Attack defense. I can do this to get something just to be defensive on my side of the field. And then I gotta deal with the fact that he can attack into it, but I could use kunai with chain to do... to stop that from happening. Let's do it. Yeah! Look at that. Now we end turn. I knew we would. The clown zombie. Yeah, declare the attack. No reason not to take both effects. Baby dragon! Everything says zombie. Everybody became a zombie now. Huh. What a big. Should I attack this? Or should I just go immediately go to defense mode and play it safe? I think I will. Wait for time wizard. I want to get a fusion monster out. I'm going to try this thing, because I'm, I'm worried about Mirror Force and stuff like that. I know he doesn't have, like, Torrential Tributes. Alright, good. Cleared it out. Yeah, nothing. You got nothing. Ooh! Told you what happened. I'm going to summon Thousand Dragon. Oh, right. Materials. Fusion Shokan. I always thought Thousand Dragon was one of, like, the few, um... Uh, you know what? Let's put it here so I can actually put another monster here. I'm probably just... Putting it there probably just scared a bunch of people who haven't seen Yu-Gi-Oh! in 15 years. Like, what is that? What, what, what did you just do? What did you just do? He put that card in the middle. That's illegal. That's not right. This isn't the game I remember. Battle phase. Thousand dragon. Attack this. Why doesn't thousand dragon get an animation? 
Because only important monsters get that, of course. Can't do that. That's illegal. And let's wait for next turn. Boop, boop, boop. Tribute to the Doomed! Once again, wiped out by one of the rarest cards in the whole game. And there goes Thousand Dragon. But I can attack him directly. Copycat wouldn't be that bad to put up front. Wait, why do I have a boost? Oh, because it's it's marked in blue because it, it's not his original attack and defense. That's right. Um, Sword and Shield would be good for copycat right now for a direct attack, huh? Same with pretty much all of them, but except you. I mean, I'm not gonna use Sword and Shield regardless, right? Just for one turn, this should be fine. I'm a bit worried about him destroying all my cards and making a comeback, so I'm not gonna... Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Excuse me? But, hang on. <sighs> All right, well. We just learned a hard lesson the hard, the hard way. I thought the effect said that its original attack becomes that original monster's attack. But I just swapped it. <laughs> swapped nothing. Now it only has kunai with chain boost. Well, that was a big oof. Darn cards in their stupid words. <laughs> Need lawyers to read over these things before you play for real star chips. <laughs> Zombie master. Well, he didn't attack copycats, so that's good. Battle steer. Well, I can just... Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, can't tribute summon anything that's not a zombie. Mm-hmm. That's right. And now we play the wait for fusion material game again. Can't really attack him. Oh, well. Of course I don't get the stats back. Technically, you can't get that crass clown. No, not Mount Warrior. Or, sorry, Battle Warrior. He fought bravely with his bare hands. Axe Raider. I can attack that clown with it. Salamander's not going to help. Not in this situation. I might have to use Grave Robber to get Tribute to the Doomed. But it's gonna I'm gonna take 2,000 points of damage to pull it off. All right. Let's return someone wants to be, 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 be a special summon target. This monster must be faced the field next. Made with all respect. For now, let's get rid of this guy. All right. Now I just wait for his turn to start. I can't let him use Zombie Master's effect, so... Let me do this. Next turn, hopefully. Yeah. Wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot I forgot how that worked. Ugh. Some reason my brain thought I'd get a chance. I I Oh well. I'm kind of I'm kind of uh I can't really win anyway, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> I thought I'd get the chance to use it for some stupid reason. I should have waited. I should have waited another turn. But I didn't use it, so I don't take the life point damage, so that's really not a big deal. I'm just playing the mind games. Also, he killed me. He murdered me! I'm 
I don't think that move would have saved me anyway. So it doesn't matter. Lost Souls. Skip. Story deck. Falling down. I'm gonna go second. Because I need that extra draw. Joey died. Zombie world. Dragon zombie. Oh, look, it's red eyes. Okay, let's set the kunai. Mountain warrior. Sorry, what? I keep... Sorry, Axe Raider. I keep calling, like, every generic, like, Earth monster that's a warrior a mountain warrior. Can you blame me? <laughs> They're all, like, really samey anyway. <laughs> They're not all that memorable, in my opinion. Except Battle Warrior. Because he fights with his bare hands. Opponent drew cards. No, I'm not gonna do that. Just hold down the skip. Just hold down right mouse button and I can... <sighs> yeah, you do that. Graveyard in the Hand of Invitation. Doesn't sound very nice. A graveyard that serves as a power source for zombies. I don't need to waste Kunai with Chain on you. That's, I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Ooh, another Kunai with Chain. Kunai with two chains. Save my fusion materials. Koji Kosi? I don't know. Old Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters are re were really just like, we need a warrior. We need like 12 of them. Draw 12 different warriors. What makes them distinguishable from each other? I don't know, 100, or 100 200 attack points? Who cares? I got a feeling I'm gonna succeed this time, chat. Call of the Mummy. Once per turn, you can special summon one zombie monster from your hand. You must control the monster to activate this rolls of the effect. Okay. Pumpkin King. All right. Let him go to battle phase. Declare his attack. Choice three. Both effects. And you know what? I'll activate both of them so we can leave him in attack and one after this. I wonder, how will this resolve? I want to test this. Okay, change. They need... Okay, he doesn't change again. That's okay. Alright, not the right fusion materials. So I'll save them. Alright, Koji. Rip them apart. Koji's just like swinging two kunai with chains like a demon. I'm gonna call him that. What? I don't even know what that what like his name actually means. Does it actually have like have, have any real meaning, or is it just like a made up word? Um. Yeah, I guess it's just end turn. Turn endo. Gotta go, friend. All right, see you later. I know about Red Eyes Dragoon. I actually have it. Um. My younger brother actually pulled a copy of it, and he just gave it to me for free, because I have a Red Eyes deck. It's like a, it was like a $40, $50 card, and he's just like, yeah, you can have it. I don't need it. I don't know, get, I'm going to be able to play a bit more, so I can actually use it against him. Yeah, I only really have my younger brother, um... Hang on a second. Yeah, I only have my younger brother, brother Andrew, to play Yu-Gi-Oh cards against, because... There's, like, nowhere to go right now to play card games IRL, obviously. I wanted to get more into playing Pokemon. I'm gonna put this here. There we go, but that hasn't happened yet. Should I just go all in with this guy now? I don't have polymerization anymore. May as well bait him instead of playing defensively. Direct attack. I'm about to win. See that, chat? These are the monsters of winners. Mm 
Ooh. Ooh, Book of Life. Special summon that target. Also banish the second target. You poor fool. You've doomed yourself. Could you be any stupider? No, you couldn't. And here's the other material. Well, no, I don't have polymerization anyway, so it's fine. Um, uh, you know, I should probably just put him in attack mode so I can finish him off for game. Let's do this. Flame manipulator. He's a guy that manipulates flames. Doesn't sound very healthy thing to do. Then we finish you off. Clown zombie. Get him, flame boy. During the duel, Joey's friends found the cave and cheered him on to victory. All right. Joey won. You did it. I did it, didn't I? See you round, loser. But wait, boss. Bandit Keith, maybe next time you'll have the nerve to face me, or duel me face to face instead of hiding behind your creepy flunkies. Duel you face to face? You're hopeless, dweeb. The game of Duel Monsters is all about keeping your opponent off balance. Winning the duel is all that matter, not about how you go about it. So what if I have to play a few Mystic Minds and make the game as unfun as possible for you? You're just gonna have to deal it. You're off balance, bro. We'll see about that, Bandit Keith. Yeah, right. I'm quivering in fear already, dweeb. What a jerk. Guys, I'm really sorry. Didn't mean to drag you into this mess. Next time, don't be in such a big hurry to run off on your own. Eh, it's alright. We know that it wasn't your fault, Joey. Yeah, I mean, as long as he won the duel, we can forgive him. I admit you had, had us worried at first. But you really came through this time. He still has the Millennium Ring because they only have one image of Bakura to use. I got lucky, that's all. It wasn't luck, Joey. It was your determination, your trust in the cards, and the promise you made to your sister. That's what helped you win. No, I'm pretty sure it was because I got lucky and drew polymerization and two kunai with chains. I only need two more star chips. Hang in there, Serenity. So now we can get out of this creepy pit? You bet. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Yeah. All right. So it looks like we're skipping the whole Paradox Brother stuff, and we're going right to Yugi versus Kaiba outside the, outside the castle. I'm just gonna stretch for a moment, though. I've been sitting down for almost two hours, and it's fun, but you know, you gotta take care of your back. I've been sitting down too much recently anyway, so. Ooh, there we go. Much better. Because it didn't program tag duels. Yeah, but they could have just made it so it was like, oh, you duel one of them or something. Face off. How far am I in, into this? 14%. Campaigns, 2% complete. Well, Yugi's team worked their way through the tournament. Our history now turns to Seto Kaiba for a moment. As you remember, Seto had only been defeated in Duel Monsters once by Yugi. Seto had a little brother named Mokuba. Pegasus kidnapped Mokuba and locked him in a dungeon to lure Seto into a trap, and it worked. As Seto made his way to the dungeon to save his brother, Pegasus sprung the trap and stole Mokuba's soul, just as he had Yugi's grandfather. Seto Kaiba, do you care enough about your brother's life to try and save his soul? Oh, you're not human. Quite human, actually, just extraordinarily gifted. Pegasus threw a handful of star chips at Kaiba. Here, you'll need these for your duel with Yugi. Why are you doing this? My reasons are none of your concern. Maybe I just enjoy the struggle, watching the constant tug-of-war between you and Yugi boy. Or maybe I want something you're incapable of comprehending. Talk straight. What do you want? Want? I want to see if you're capable of defeating little Yugi in a duel. And only if you successfully crush him in a humiliating defeat will you get the opportunity to duel me. Then if you beat me... I promise to restore your brother's soul. For now, I have no choice but to play your game, but as soon as I defeat Yugi, I'll be back. And you'd better make good on your promise to restore my brother, because if you don't, I'll take great pleasure in separating your soul from your body in my own way. With that, Pegasus had another duelist under his control to take down Yugi. Yugi and I both have enough star chips to get in the castle now, isn't that right, Yug? Yeah. Finally. Grandpa, here I come. Hey guys, look. You're not gonna believe who's blocking the way into the castle. It's Kaiba. I can't let you pass, Yugi. 
I've won 10 star chips, so stand aside. You may have won enough star chips to qualify for Duelist Kingdom playoffs, but I can't allow you to face Pegasus. He's mine. You and I are gonna have one final duel, Yugi. I'm not dueling you. I don't have to. That's illegal in the Yu-Gi-Oh world, Yugi. So, no longer confident that your so-called heart of the cards can help you win? Or help you win? You're just afraid he can't beat me a second time, you coward. Back off. He doesn't have to prove anything. Yugi, you said you won by tapping into the heart of the cards, and for a long time I didn't know what that meant, but now I think I do. And it took Pegasus to show me. He gave me a reason to put my heart into the cards. For the first time, I can duel with fire and passion in my heart. Yugi, you can't accept this duel. I've changed. I deserve a rematch. Give me a chance to play you now, Yugi. Let me play you for the right reasons. Kaiba, I accept your duel. We'll see what you've really learned. <laughs> Whenever Yugi duels, he just opens his jacket and he looks like a different person. That's what everyone else sees. I'm playing as Kaiba. And remember, when I'm losing, I just have to threaten to jump off the castle, and I win. <laughs> Kaiba is Kaiba just has the most pro gamer move of all time for this one. D spell, wow. He's got Celtic Guardian. Draw phase. Blue eyes, white dragon. Spell target one face up spell or one set spell destroy that target if it's a spell target is set reveal it I can use that to check things wall of illusion I like messing around with wall of illusion let's do that first will I use this mm, you know what let's do it it's probably a trap card but I can see what it is with this scapegoat haha <laughs> you poor fool you thought you could get me There you go. He got another one. He just summoned it again. Summoner's Art. Add one level five or higher normal monster from your deck to your hand. This is for getting blue eyes, but I could also just summon Sword Stalker right now. So I'll do that. <laughs> I only have one- I have one copy of Blue Eyes Ultimate, because this is the episode where Kaiba summons it for the first time, right? Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, it's the best thing ever. And soon it became the worst thing ever, but then it became good again because it's- because it has no effect, and therefore it's a target for lots of good things. Rip them apart. Sword Stalker looks creepy. Thank goodness I got rid of Scapegoat. No, oh, don't, don't, don't do that. He gave me Mystical Elf. You know what? Fine, I'll take it. Ancient Lamp. During your main phase, you can summon Legion Mystical Genie of the Lamp from your hand. Must be face up the field to activate resolve this effect for damage calculation. If this card is being attacked by opponent's monster and was, and was face down at the start of the damage step, you can target one monster your opponent controls except the attacking monster. The attacking monster it attacks it instead, and you proceed the damage calculation. Ooh, tricky. Soggy the Dark Clown. Why do you have this in your deck, Kaiba? Are you an idiot? No, don't answer that. We all know we all know it's true. I guess I'll just summon this thing. Why not? Get him. We all know the crush card virus there definitely works the way it does in the anime. He's got a face down, but I've got a battle ox. It's an ox that battles. Totally cool. Wing dragon, guardian of the fortress number one, but no one ever sees what number two looks like because it's that bad. I think I'm going to win without much effort. Wait, what's Yugi's one fusion monster? Usually he has like three copies of something like like Guy the Dragon Champion. Fusion Sage. Well, I might as well activate it. Then the deck. Eye of Truth. You monster. 
All right, he's just looking at my hand. It's not a big deal. Your opponent must keep their hand revealed. Once per turn during your standby phase, they have spells in their hand. They gain a thousand life points if they have spells in their hand at resolution. I hate how this inconveniences me of, like, actually looking at my cards. <laughs> It's annoying. I don't want to do that. How would I just summon blue eyes right now? Let's see blue eyes summon animation. Let's end this right now. It's battle time. I think Blue Eyes has a special attack animation as well. Or is it just summons? Okay, it's. I think this version of the game only has the animations on summon. There's no special attack ones now. Yugi refused to finish his attack against Kaiba because it would have inflicted physical harm. When Yugi refused to attack, Kaiba struck and took victory. I can't believe that underhanded sleazeball wiped Yugi out. I'm sorry about your grandpa, but you did the right thing. You would have had to hurt Kaiba, and I know your grandpa wouldn't want to be saved that way. Then I guess he got what he wanted. If Yugi had done what needed to be done, he would be entering that castle. Not me. But he was too weak to follow through on his play. Pegasus's plan had worked to perfection. Good job, Kaiba boy. As you wish. I shall be your next opponent. Little Yugi didn't fare nearly so well in his rematch. His spirit is broken, and his grandfather's soul remains mine. Ha 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 ha. What a meanie face. Absolute meanie face. Duel of Tears. Oh, I have to win his Taya. This is gonna be fun. Yugi? Come on, Yug. Why won't he answer us? Never seen him like this. He's totally out of it. Well, he did just lose his only chance to save his grandfather. Mai came sauntering up the steps of Pegasus's castle. What's up? If you guys have enough star chips to get into the castle, why are you hanging out here? It's Yug. He lost his chips to Kaiba. And now it's like he's lost the will to go on. So the little guy finally lost one, huh? Lucky for you guys, I came by. Listen up, Yug. You got beat, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. When I got beat, I thought it was all over for me too. But then you stepped in and saved my star chips, and now I'm returning the favor. But if you give up your star chips, you can't win the prize money. I'm being kind, not stupid. Whoa, she already has ten star chips of her own. Go on, Yugi. I know that you know that I owe you, so take them. Are my star chips not good enough for you? Fine, I'll keep them. And your friends can wipe your nose all the way back to the nursery. Grow up. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. My, don't get mad. You just don't understand. Oh, I understand. Your friend lost one lousy duel and now he's too chicken to play again. Isn't that right? How pathetic. Come on, chicken boy. Duel me for them. I'll duel you. I'll duel you right here, right now, for Yugi. Alright. Taya's gonna try and fight now. It's gonna go very well. Second to go. Maybe he's scared to duel because he's afraid his opponent's gonna try and jump off a cliff again. Magician of Faith. Fairy's Gift. Flying Monster is known for delivering happiness to all. Honest. During your main phase, you can turn this face-up card from the field to the hand. During the damage step, when a light monster you control battles, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the GY. That monster gains attack equal to attack the opponent's monster in battling. Okay, so keep this in my hand, then. Okay. <laughs> I could just go all in with one monster. Let's try. Equip only to a fairy type. Wait, what? Excuse me? You're telling me fairy's gift is a spellcaster, not a fairy type? Or okay, whatever. 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 What do I know about naming cards? <laughs> it's the fairy's gift. <laughs> Not a fairy itself. Oh well, pardon me for thinking it would- assuming it would be one. 
All right, then. I'm gonna use one of these for now, then. I'm gonna regret this, but... I was kind of hoping I could use this, but whatever. Damage step. Nah. Bird face. Yeah, that's right. Get your harpy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, then. Turn endo. Do something. Oops. That's just kind of... Another one of these that's not what I need. Hmm. Might as well summon it. <laughs> Why not? I have Honest, so I should be okay. Let's equip it to the other one. Yeah. Harpy's baby pet, pet dragon. I'm gonna destroy my. You lost my. Boom, surprise. If Mirror Force activated, that would be funny. Shining Friendship, the peacemaker among monsters. It looks like it's holding in like a fart. I know that's a dumb thing to say, but look at it. Now let's activate this. Put it on you. Everybody gets stronger. And Mai's about to die. <laughs> wow, she didn't do anything. I surrender, Taya. I don't have the cards to win. Very clearly. I won! Way to go, Taya. You really came through for Yugi. Good match. Whatever. I didn't need these star chips anyway. Mai gave up her star chips and started to walk away. Wait, Mai, I have to ask you something. If you played that last card, wouldn't you have what? It was a throwaway. It was nothing that Taya wouldn't have been able to beat anyway. Some cards just aren't worth playing, huh, Yugi? Thank you. Yugi, I, um, I won these star chips for you. I know. Thank you so much. Sure thing. I'll never forget what you did for me, Taya. You overcame your fears for me. And you've given me the courage to deal with mine. I'll will, I will duel again. And hopefully the consequences won't be as bad as I fear. She probably more so just did it for uh, the Pharaoh, though. Champion versus creator. Ooh, we gonna get tuned up in here? Yugi and his friends entered the castle. They found out that Pegasus had granted Kaiba his prize. Kaiba was about to duel Pegasus. Where's my brother? What? No hello? No how are you? I thought we were friends, Kaiba boy. Don't tell me that kidnapping Mokuba and seizing control of your company has put a rift between us. It was nothing personal. Besides, it's not like I hurt your kid brother. He's perfectly safe. In fact, you can have him back if you like. Beat me in a duel and I'll release him as promised. But fail, and not only will his soul remain in bondage, but yours will join it. To save your brother, you'll have to defeat me. Defeat you? I'll crush you. Ready, Kaiba? Your brother's fate hangs in the balance. We've known each other for a long time, and now we'll see if the master is the duel monster's creator or the champion. Time to duel. All right. Boo, boo, boo. Here we go. Yeah, I think this one was originally a DLC battle. <laughs> Here comes the tune. And a clown. Summoner's art. Oh no, he's got blue eyes. Dragon Capture Jar, though. Shine Palace. Not Toon World at all. Even though it has, like, Toon World. Chat, the book in, in this art literally says Toon World. Look at it. <laughs> Why did they do that? That bothers me so much. Like, the book clearly says Toon World. It's Toon World, but it's not Toon World. <laughs> so silly. Cannot be normal summon, must be special summon while you control Toon World. Because they were lazy. 
It's like they just had like two art variants of Tomb World. They're like, yeah, you call it something else. Anyways, I got a clown. When this card is changed from attack to defense, destroy all monsters so you're on your opponent's side of the field. I'm pretty sure I don't have dragon type cards. Hmm. Uh, just one second. Let me just check something. Uh, I'm wondering if it'd be a good idea to hang on to this. Do I go for the effect? I'm gonna see if I can make it last. <sighs> All right. Destroy monsters in your deck. Tribute one dark monster. Your opponent takes no damage to the end of the next turn if this card resolves. Also, look at your opponent's hand and destroy all monsters they control. And if you... Er, and destroy all monsters they control. And if you do, destroy the monsters among them with 1,500 more attack. And your opponent can destroy up to three monsters with 1,500 more attack in their deck. Okay. I might do that to thin out my deck a little bit. This has five stars, so I don't want that... Well, I don't want to draw that. I don't really want to draw Toon Blue Eyes either, because it activates Dragon Capture Jar. So let's just thin the deck with these. I hope I made a good idea. Bit insensitive timing on Kaiba's part to play a card like that. Like, hmm. How rude. I guess I can attack him. Why not? Oh. He just activated the gate attack. Now, I, I know some of you might want me to read that card, but I think the name is a little self-explanatory. End phase. Hang on. Oh, I can activate that whenever. Turn change. Ooh. Well, that's a thing I could do later, but... Not much can really be done now, huh? I'll just keep attacking him with a clown. Imagine if a clown just walked up to you and just punched you in the gut. That's what I'm doing right now with this, but he's got a spell to stop it. The clown is now trapped in chains. It's worthless to me. I should have changed its... Well, there's no reason to change its battle position now. There's no monsters to destroy. That's another clown. Oh, no. No, I don't need to use the jar. Toon Goblin Attack Force cannot be attack or er, cannot attack the turn is summoned. If Tomb World's on the field, is destroyed. Destroy this card. Will you control Tomb World and your opponent controls new two monsters? You can attack your opponent directly. This card attacks its changed defense position at the end of the battle phase, and its battle position cannot be changed at the end of your next turn. I'm a can summon it. The Toon Monsters are so weird and inconsistent. Like, at first they're like, you need Toon World to summon them. Then they're like, uh, you don't need Toon World to summon them. But you should have Toon World anyway. It'd be pretty cool if you did. I just realized I can do something stupid, because I have a hundred less life points. And I want to do it, because it'll be funny. <laughs> Y'all want to see this clown get destroyed? Wait, what? Can't attack turn summon. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But it'll be funny. Attack it, Kaiba. Attack it. I dare ya. Oh, hang on. I'm not holding the skip button. Next turn. Just wait. It's gonna be funny. Oh. Dang it. Should've saved. Toon Defense. Oh, I hate this card. Uh, whatever, I'll set it. Would have been funny if I could do it. Too bad I can't do anything. End turn. If only I just waited a turn for some reason. I didn't. Turn change. Draw phase. I have polymerization, but what do I have for this? Oh, this thing. 
May as well activate it. Turn end, because I can't do nothing right now. Ha <laughs> ha! He's got what? He's got an ancient lamp. What's he going for? He's got Lejin, the mystical genie of the lamp. He's sacrificing both of them. Oh no, it's the blue eyes white dragon. It's a scary friend. Unfortunately for you, I have a nice little vase. That's right, nothing you can do, Kaiba. But I can't attack it either. I can summon this, I guess. This duel it has me on the edge of my seat. More tune defense. I don't need a second one down. I can use Shine Palace on his monster. Whoopee. Mm -hmm. I have a sneaking suspicion, chat, that Toon Monsters might not be that good. Turn change. Draw phase. Oh gosh, what am I gonna do? May as well take out his other face downs. Oh great, Wall of Illusion. It's fine. That's actually that's actually a good thing. Because I don't have to worry about the def the the position change. Just summon it again. Wall of Illusion actually helped me out. I remember when the anime made Toon Monsters seem like they were like the most broken, stupid thing ever. Oh, Toon Table of Contents. But in reality, they're not that good. Even when you have some of the cheesy stuff. Hang on. I'm gonna do the thin. Activate Toon Table of Contents to get Toon Table of Contents. Then you activate the other one. And my deck is now smaller and I can easily get what I need. Here's the final one. Okay, do I want Toon World now? Kind of. Toon Alligator, the, the, the not sort of, but not really Toon. Sure, I'll take Toon World. Um, remember chat, this is Toon World, not this other book that clearly says Toon World. Activate this card by paying a thousand life points, chump. Why isn't this a field spell? Now I can special summon things, but you know what I can't do is get rid of that blue eyes. Let's see, you must pay 500 life points to clear an attack with this monster. B -b 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 -b. Now I can attack directly, right? Hang on. Let's see. Phone controls new two monsters. This card can attack your opponent directly. Excellent. And does the same apply to you? This card can attack your opponents directly unless they control a two and monster. All right. I think I should be able to do this now. Toon mermaid girl. Can't switch you. Wait, what? Oh, right. Can't attack the turn is summon. I always, I always forget these things have summoning sickness. <laughs> All right, whatever. This can though. Toon monsters like I always forget they're different each one's different effects and, and I, it makes me forget the effect that applies to all of them as a consequence. Do something, Kaiba. Always doing something. It's Sword Stalker. Yeah, I'm gonna activate this. Attack me directly. See if I care. Alright, now I'm gonna get the big draw. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. 
Must be special summoned by tributing two monsters. Cannot attack. Let's see. You must pay 100. Okay, so this one can attack the turn it's summoned. Can attack your opponent directly unless they control a two monster, which can use current turn two monster attacks. Cannot be normal summon set. Must be special summoned. It doesn't say anything about the summoning sickness for this one, so. Let me just sacrifice the two um, mermaids. Here we go. Oh, right. I forgot. I, I played it and I forgot about it. Oops. Oh, well. Why do I keep forgetting my own cards? Negate attack. There we go. Keep forgetting. Tune is not a type. I literally... I'll let him attack me. Let's do this. I shall be fine. Should have stacked the mermaids. Oh, got another Tomb World. Needed that right now. Wait, why didn't you switch? Wait. Didn't say change. But didn't change. Well, whatever. Shine Palace. Just attack him directly. Get him. Oh. He is good at ruining my day. Just let me attack you, Kaiba. It's not that hard. Just accept your death already. There we are. Battle phase. Your opponents. Um, no, I can't really afford to take all that damage again. Clown. Uh, I may as well set it. Not much else I could do right now, sadly. <sighs> well, whatever. What's he got? No, I don't want. He can. He can. Ta he can have this one. Toon Mermaid. All right then. First, uh, does Flip Summoning count for this? I don't know if it. I don't remember if it does. I guess I'll find out. Okay, good. It does. This can't attack the turn it summons. He's gonna be able to sacrifice something though next turn, so I better special summon it in defense mode. Ah. Summoner's art. Why would I get rid of blue eyes? It's kinda worthless to him right now. Ancient rules. Uh oh. He got another one. Can I skip this? Or do I gotta watch it every single time? I might. The AI didn't know what to do. But Sword Stalker's back with a vengeance. That's okay. Toon Mass Sorcerer cannot attack turn summon if Toon World's on the field. Or is destroyed. Destroy this card. Well, you control Toon World, your opponent controls new two monsters. This card can attack your opponent directly. This card inflicts battle damage to your opponent. Draw one card. Well, all right then. I'm kind of in a bit of a weird position. I gotta pay 500 life points to attack with Toon Mermaid. That's not really gonna pay off for me. He's just gonna destroy me next turn. I'm gonna take even more damage. For now, I'll just hold off. Maybe I'll draw something. I kind of soiled it by summoning this dumb blue eyes card. Say no. Like, he can't destroy my blue eyes, so that's a benefit. But... Oh! I think I just found a way to victory. 
But he'll get life points back. Hmm. What do I do here? The best idea would be to snatch his monster to tribute with it, but... I can't really do that right now. I'm just gonna end turn. Ah! Oh, I put myself in a really dumb position. Just top deck my way to victory. I can't really do that when I've already thinned my deck earlier. Turn change. I've got the clown. He can just sacrifice his blue eyes and keep bringing it back. Hmm. Darn it. This is annoying. Um... Maybe just wait and hope I can get my fusion monster? I really don't. <laughs> oh, this ain't good. He's got monsters. I have a way out of this. Toon Gemini Elf cannot attack. Let's see. In this, okay. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, discard one random card from their hand. Well, that's not going to really help me either. Problem is, if I leave them vulnerable, I'll just get destroyed, but then I... Maybe I should summon this thing in nor uh, attack mode, and then snatch steel sword stalker, because sending that thing back over and over isn't really helping. I think he only has one copy of sword stalker, so... And blue eyes is worthless to him now, so this might be my best mm -hmm. idea. He's gonna get a ton of life points back, but I'm gonna have to take him out at some point. And I can't use anything on that. Battle phase. Let's let the sword stalker kill this. Oh, give me a break. How many more of those do you have? You, at least I don't have to worry about snatch steel anymore. I guess the problem worked itself out. Shine Palace? The elf is the elf is an earth monster. I can't use it on her. It only works on light monsters. I got another Snatch Steel. At least I can make use of this now. I should be able to attack directly. I don't have to pay a cost, do I? Okay, didn't seem like it. And let's get rid of that random card in his hand. Yeah, that's right. You ain't summoning another one. Okay, I think I just won. I think I won. It's weird, because they kind of give the Earth logo a little bit of a yellowish tint to it, so I can see why you think it, it, it was light. I kind of thought that earlier, too. Is he seriously... He just summoned Blue Eyes again. He's an idiot. Kaiba Boy is an idiot. Absolute idiot buffoon. Who does he think he is? Finish him! Put him out of his misery! First try. I won. You lose, Kaiba boy, and now you've lost more than just this duel. You've lost the only chance you had at rescuing your baby brother. You let him down, but don't worry, my dear friend. I'll spare you the agony of carrying on in this world without him. Pegasus held up a blank card. What is that? It's the final fate of your soul, said Okaiba. Maximilian Pegasus captured Kaiba's soul with his Millennium Eye, tapping it or trapping it in the blank blank card. Pegasus now had Seto Kaiba, Mokuba, and Yugi's grandpa souls. Welcome to your new home, a place of solitude and seclusion. Ah, the brothers Kaiba, one in each of my hands, but even though your cards are so very close, your souls have never been further apart. Alright. Kaiba's... Your, Pegasus is kind of mean, not gonna lie. Dual identity. The time had come for the Duelist Kingdom Tournament Finals. And Yugi and Joey were more than ready. I sure hope I'm doing the right thing and deciding to duel again, but with Grandpa's soul at stake, I have to. Yugi and Joey walked to the arena and met with the other two finalists, Mai and Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith had cheated his way into the finals and had no plans to stop. Yugi, Joey, Mai, and Bandit Keith, I welcome all of you to the playoff arena. Here is where the last great duel monsters duel shall be waged to determine the championship of Duelist Kingdom. Only one of you shall emerge victorious. 
Only one of you shall win the $3 million prize. And of course, the victor in the playoffs shall also earn the right to challenge me in the final match. The victor will be granted one request, whatever his or her heart most desires. And if it is within my vast power to do so, their, vast, their wish shall be granted. The victor will also be declared the undisputed Duelist Kingdom champion, ranked number one in the whole world. And boys, that'll be me. Surely any duelist that has come this far must realize that the title and not the money is the real prize. Is that not so? You're a regular comedian. The money's all I need for my sister's operation. Yes, yes, I'm sure some of you have more riding on this tournament than the others. Right, Yugi? You've got my grandpa's soul, and Mokuba, and even Seto Kaiba captive, but I'll find a way to defeat you and save them all. The first semi-final match was against Yugi, or was Yugi and Mai. Although Mai was now friends with Yugi, she was playing to win. I used to think the only person a duelist could trust was her herself. Everyone else was just an opponent. Then I met Yugi, and I learned through him that even the strongest opponents in the arena could still be friends outside it. If he hadn't loaned me his star chips, I might never have made it to the final round. I owe him a very great debt. I promised Yugi an honorable duel, and that's what I'm going to give him. If he thinks that means I'm not going to battle all out, he's dreaming. I'm going to give this match everything I've got, so when Yugi goes down, it'll be a victory I can be proud of. I promised him an honorable duel, not an easy one. Alright, let's go. The Dancing Elf. Razor Sharp Blades, where? Second to go. Let's get him. Do I have Blackluster Soldier? This is the first duel that had Blackluster Soldier, wasn't it? <laughs> Advanced Ritual Art. Oh yeah, they want me to summon it. Monster Recovery. Is that back row removal I see? I think I'll use it. What was it? Shadow of Eyes? Okay, then. Target one monster you control that is owned by you. If that monster is still on the field, shuffle it into your entire... and your entire hand into the deck. After that, draw cards equal the number of cards you shuffled from your hand into the deck from this effect. You cannot activate this card if you have a card in your hand. That is owned by your opponent. This card is used to ritual summon any ritual monster. You must also send normal monsters from your deck to the GY, whose levels total equal that. All right, so we'll save that for now. And I guess the only thing I can do is set Mystical Elf. Good thing I got rid of Shadow of Eyes. I don't really want to shuffle my hand just yet, so let's hang on to that. Harpy Chandler. Harpy Dancer. Summon again. Bird face. Summon again. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Except watch you, <laughs> you cry as you hit a 2,000 defense point monster. Oh, and what's this I have in my hand? Wow, this would be a shame if someone were to activate this. Destroyed by battle. Well, that makes it even better. Should I just summon Curse of Dragon? What's in my extra deck here? One copy of Dragon Champion. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Because she's not going to take the bait for the defense anymore. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Raigeki. Hmm, it is a quick play. I could, I could just put this down if I get attacked in a bad spot, couldn't I? Shuffle your entire hand to your deck. After that, draw a number of the cards equal to... Um... Yeah, sure, I'll set it. Maybe I can make use of it. Let's go. Harpy Queen. I kind of always wanted to make a Harpy deck IRL, but they're not very good, apparently. Monster Reborn. Okay, I don't need that right now. I'm in a good spot, so let's just keep attacking. This was the episode where Mai used that, like, mirror wall card, I think, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem now. 
Harpies and Duel Links is meta. I haven't played Duel Links in like oh well over a year now. I fell out of that. <laughs> uh, I don't need swords. Let's keep attacking and see what happens. Don't look at that. Dare I say, chat, it appears this victory is going to be easy, despite my insisting it won't be. What's that? What, excuse me? Harpy's Feather Duster? Curse you! This card may be legal now, but you know this was cheap when the game released. Don't pretend it's not. I don't need to use this, really. It's fine. Hysteric party. Uh-oh. Reborn is both graves, but I don't really need her harpy cards at the moment. I want to save it, because I'm pretty... was in a position where I could easily take her out. Oh, wait. Harpy's hunting ground is going to destroy me. Yeah. Suddenly, five harpy ladies are coming towards you to attack. Run! Also, those ojamas are getting beat up in that... in that image there. So... Maybe I might be in a little bit of trouble. Not gonna lie. But I have a plan. Maybe I should have just shuffled my hand there, but swords are revealing right and monsters were reborn is pretty good. Let me see what you got here. Bird face. No, no, we don't need bird face. I can bring back my curse of dragon. And also activate swords of revealing light. Hang on a second, actually actually. Oh, I can't back out. Once I'm selecting a column, I can't back out. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. If any Harpy Leader or Harpy Leader Sisters is normal or special summon, the player who conducted the summon targets one spell or trap on the field, player destroys that target. So if I were to... Hmm, I have an idea here. I have an idea here. If I can... Kill this with Winged Dragon. Monster Reborn Harpy Lady, or Harpy Dancer. Then I can use this to get rid of her hunting grounds, right? That should work, because I can't Monster Reborn any Harpies here. Let's hope this works. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about this. When this face-up card leaves the field, destroy those monsters. Oh, yeah, I forgot that part of it. Okay. Main phase two. Monster reborn. Harpy dancer. You there. Maybe I should have put you in a different position, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Yeah! And let's see here. Target one wind monster you control, return it to the hand. Then you can normal summon one wind monster. You can only use the effect of Harpy Dancer one per turn. This card's name can Harpy Lane in the field or in GY. Entire field is wiped out. Yeah, she had nothing. I had this. I'm gonna finish her with her own monster. Yeah! Wait, my, there's something I want to say to you. Huh? Thank you! You said a duelist can learn more from defeat than victory, and you were correct, but you, my, you taught me a lot today. I had to confront my own fears and weaknesses. Or I never could have defeated you. It's awfully nice of you to say that, but it seems to me I also still have a lot more to learn. About dueling and about myself. I suppose no duelist ever learns all there is to know. And maybe the most important lesson is that defeat doesn't have to be forever. You won this duel, Yugi, but there'll be others. You and I will meet in the arena again, kiddo, and when we do, you better watch out. Alright. Excellent. So, we've been going a little over two and a half hours. It's probably a good point for me to take a little break and stop recording the episode one, as we would call it. But I'm going to do more Yu-Gi-Oh! right away, so don't worry about that. 
But I'm just gonna take a moment to refill my drink and all that stuff. For YouTube audience, hope you're all enjoying some more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff right now. It's been a bit since I did this. Making it decently far in just a couple hours. Already 20% done, nice. Oopsie, didn't mean to go that far in. Anyways, for YouTube, this is a little stop for you, but we're just gonna take a little break for the stream. So have a good night, and bye bye